So while you're working with analytics, you can also utilize the resets tool inside of analytics from YouTube studio. So to do that, you can go around on the analytics right here and you can see the regular analytics. But if you were to go to the reset section, then you'll be able to see searches across YouTube right here. So you can see that these are some common systems, but let's say you want to search for a specific thing like you, let's say you upload nature videos. So let's see if I were to type in nature, what uh, actually is uh, the common set uh, keywords that is used right here. So here you can see that there's uh, life, um, uh, living and nature right here. So you can add these to favorites as well. You know what the users are searching for mostly and you can use these keywords to plan your next content or you can use this in uh, the keyboard section of your related videos as well. You can go around over here and let's say I'm just going to go around with sun and let's see if there's any sun related um, a set channel. So you can see that this is what you have right here. So I'm just going to go around and say solar system and let's see what people are setting related to that. So they're searching for solar system, solar uh, system song, solar system drawing, solar system pro uh, project and so forth. And you can add them onto favorites uh, so that you can have it on the same section. You can also go around and see your uh, viewers particular searches on what they are interested in as well. So as you collect viewers, you'll be able to see their details over here as well. And you can see like different geography of where uh, particular searches are in as well. Let's say, for example, uh, you want to go around over here and particularly target Canada as uh, uh, the target audience. Then let's see what uh, they actually search for. They search for the solar system. They search for eight planets of solar system and so forth. So you can plan your content accordingly and you're more likely to reach those audiences right here. So if I were to go on to the save section right here, then you can see that this is what you have. You have saved out all the uh, um, uh, uh, all the important search keywords that you want to use. And you can see that you can come over here for reference while you're making videos. And that is how you can utilize the research section under analytics inside of YouTube Studio. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.